Hi, I'm Corey Robertson and I'm an executive mentor coach. I work with senior leaders who know that for their company to thrive, their people must thrive. One of the ways you can do this as a leader is by building a workforce that's very rich in emotional intelligence. And that's what this video series is about. It's to help bring about a better self-awareness and a better awareness of, uh, of other people. So I'm going to be talking today about the aspect of being introverted. Now, many people have heard of this, but what does that actually mean? So the introvert is the person who is often very quiet, who doesn't force their way into a conversation, and the person who likes to work alone. They work very well independently. The introvert will think very carefully before they speak, and they're not going to add to the conversation just for the pleasure of hearing their own voice. They really will only talk when they have something meaningful to, to, to say that hasn't already been said before. So you can see why the introvert is a, a very, very uh, great quality to have around and to manifest in yourself. So when can you go back into yourself, think, reflect, listen, work quietly and work independently? So as much as those are great qualities, the introvert also has a dark side, just like all of the other personality styles. And as the leader, it's really important that you can spot the introvert when they're overextended and this, this darkness starts to come through. And here's how you're going to spot it. The introvert's dark, start, dark side starts showing up when they become they switch from being sort of quiet and, and thoughtful to being, to being withdrawn. Um, the introvert in overextension is going to start coming across as being somber and being closed off. Um, when an introvert is overextended, they'll even maybe even refuse to participate because they just can't handle um, the, the chaos of the crowd or the chaos of the situation. The introvert will withhold information and will actually go as far as avoiding people. So it's pretty clear why, as the leader, you've got to be able to spot that. You've got to help those people who have that quality of being introverted stay at their best and come to the table with the best energy that they have to bring that day. So when you spot these qualities, find out what is causing the overextension, overextension. what's troubling them, what's stressing them out, what processes are working against them so that they can't actually produce what they're supposed to be producing. So this is emotional intelligence, this is self-awareness, and this is the awareness of others. If you're interested in raising your own emotional intelligence and the emotional intelligence in your workplace, you can visit my website, www.coreyrobertson.com. My blog contains all kinds of information like this. You can also find me on LinkedIn. Uh, if you search Alive from 9 to 5, you will find my company page. So by all means, check it out, leave me a comment and leave, or leave me a question. I'd love to answer and I'd love for my, uh, my listeners to hear what you have to say. So thank you very much for your time today and we'll see you back here next time.